Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at Evi.io, the world's first decentralized and unbiased crypto assets rating platform powered by AI and ML. If we actually jump down a little bit, it talks more about how out of 9,000 plus crypto assets, few provide any real value or use case. Many projects claim to have a working product, though quite often that doesn't necessarily imply any tangible utility. So how can investors avoid these pitfalls within the crypto sphere and identify value assets or really valuable assets in the emerging marketplace? Well, welcome to evi.io. Like I said, this is not really a decentralized organization, DAO, presenting a world-class decentralized rating system for crypto, DeFi, and NFTs that can be used by anyone to evaluate these new asset classes. So I do want to take a look at the actual website. So here you'll actually see the current EVI, uh, well, the EVI rating and uh, the current rating continuing to put the projects they believe in the most at the top. So you have A2 from A3. And then if you go down, you'll see A3. And you can actually see arrows representing, you know, they've gone down recently or they've gone up recently. So we have A2, A3, uh, and these projects continue to go down and up. Obviously, if we go to page three, you're going to see B1. So you're going to start to see projects in that B1. I do want to take a look at some of these different projects. So if we can see, there's actually crypto, DeFi, NFTs. And if we just type in, I'm not sure if they have like Chainlink in there. Let's see. So they do have Chainlink. Chainlink is a B1 in their uh, idea of things. If we take a look, let's say Polkadot. Polkadot would be an A3. So they believe highly in Polkadot. Um, Chainlink they believe in pretty good. But, you know, it's not it's not quite the A3 that we were hoping for. If we actually take a look at, uh, let's just say, do they just have straight up Bitcoin? Bitcoin's a B1, which I would agree with. I think that's not a, an A tier. I think that's uh, about a B tier. If you're thinking of tier list, if you've ever done anything, you know, having that A, B, C, D tier list um, is definitely what's kind of going on here. If we take a look at Ethereum, it's a B1 as well. I would say Ethereum should be a little higher in my opinion, but obviously I'm not the professional here. We see Cardano at an A3, which is pretty substantial. Obviously, A3 being very, very high. I'm very curious on Solana as well as so Solana's an A3. What about Luna? Because we've seen Luna obviously go off recently. Luna also an A3. So maybe they're uh, you know fairly accurate with what they're staying here. We see you know a couple different great projects at the top. You've probably known as some of these Ave as one of them at the top. Um, but you know I want to talk a little bit more about what else they do. So if we actually jump through here, the EVI multi-factor model runs Atomos based on objective method with transparent criteria that are under continuous monitoring and development by harnessing the technical advancements in artificial intelligence and machine learning. We are constantly optimizing the multi-factor rating system to provide investors with impartial data to make an informed decision on their next investment. I will say, guys, I'm not a financial advisor myself, so always do your own research before investing. But Evi is looking like a very, very solid uh, really option here. Um, like I said, I think this is going to be something that a lot of people definitely new to the market will want to jump into if they don't want to have to do all of that research themselves. Maybe putting your trust in somebody like Evi to do some of that research for you could be a great way to do so. Uh, if we actually scroll down a little bit more, they said founded on world-renowned research. So Professor, I'm not exactly sure how to say his name, of the University of Brighton, co-founder and chief research officer at Evi, has written over 80 leading research papers and has presented his work to the CV CFA, sorry, FCA and London Stock Exchange and is an advisor of or really to the Bank of England. So his globally recognized work includes the 2011 liquidity asset pricing module and then also the 2019 seven factor pricing model, which was developed following analysts uh, or analysis of the 80 years of data from the, all the U.S. listed securities between 1927 and 2014. So you could easily say this guy knows exactly what he's doing. He's a you know a very smart guy and it talks about some of their development roadmap as well down here. They have the token audit obviously coming in January 2021. And as we've kind of moved along, you know, a lot has come about. We see commercial API data. We have June 2021. The stuff that we've already passed is second exchange listing, crypto assets integration, launch of EVI. Uh, fund.io. They talk about their tokenomics as well. I'm not going to jump through all of this. If you guys want to take a look, though, definitely pause the video, take a look yourself. I will have all links, by the way, in the description down below. So if you guys want to check this website out, evi.io, or, you know, kind of mess around just take, taking a look at the ratings, because in my opinion, that's probably the funnest thing to do, or most fun, I should say. And the funnest is not a word. You got to gotta remember that one. Uh, we have AMP, though, at B3. So AMP is not a loved one too much here. Uh, ICP, let's see. Maybe you have to type it out. Internet computer doesn't seem to be on there. That's perfectly fine. It has pretty much every asset we've typed in now. I'm trying to think of a few other ones. We have Hollow. Let's take a look. Hollow at a A3. That's fairly solid. Harmony. 
we have another A3. So all these projects we talk about as long-term potential do seem to have that A or high A ranking, um, which definitely shows, you know, there is a lot of potential behind these, uh, according to Evi as well. I'm trying to think of a few more. Let's think of at least just one more here, Stellar Lumens. Um, maybe I just have to type in the ticker XLM. XLM did not come up. Let's see if XRP comes up. XRP comes up and it's a B1. We don't talk about XRP too, too much, but it's definitely something we talk about. Uh, I want to jump, though, back into that white paper and talk a little bit more about the token release schedule as well. So this is definitely something you'd like to see. You know, having these team and advisors, having it locked for 120 months, definitely going to give you the opportunity to, uh, you know, understand that this isn't a pump and dump, obviously, like so many other coins out there right now. EVA is a project that is looking to stay, or a platform that's looking to stay or stick around for quite some time. We see the token sale structure as well with EVA being those private sales as well as public sale price being $0.49. Cents. So if you are getting that private sale, you are getting a very, very solid price point. Um, but like I said, Certic Audit is definitely one of the best and uh, most trusted blockchain security companies in the world. EVI has engaged Certic in their meticulous testing and customized security integration to ensure the EVI token meets the highest standards, providing peace of mind to investors and holders. Definitely very, very good to see that happening. And we're also proud to claim that EVI token ERC-20 is integrated with Binance Smart Chain. Definitely another great thing to see BEP-20 taking, uh, you know, taking a look there. Uh, I don't want to jump too much farther into this because a lot of this is a little more technical, but I do suggest if you guys are looking to jump in yourself uh, to take a look at this. So here we can actually see the rankings. So A1 all the way to U actually. So it's very close to a regular tier list. Um, here we have the highest quality crypto assets. The financial composition is extremely solid, extremely low risk. We also have A2, excellent quality crypto assets. The financial composition is very solid, moderately low risk. I'm curious what they have Chainlink at, because that's, like I said, one of my favorites out there uh, in the crypto uh, crypto space altogether is, you know, Chainlink's, like I said, my favorite, probably. I believe it has huge, huge potential. Maybe it does have a little bit more risk involved, but uh, for the most part, I think it's just a solid coin with huge potential. So here we have Chainlink, as I struggled to type that in there, um, and they have it as a B1. So B1 is the top of the Bs at the very least. Medium quality crypto asset, uh, a satisfactory uh, financial composition, low risk, but pronounced, I guess, but more pronounced than an A3. So Interesting to see them have it as a B1. I would like to see it moved up in the A3 tier. We'll see if that does happen in the next up upcoming weeks. Obviously, I do think these assets move around quite a bit according to their AI and, uh, you know, the research that goes into it. But, you know, for the most part, I think this is a great system to really make sure you're investing in projects that have, you know, some solid foundation. Anything in the A and B tier, in my opinion, would probably be solid enough to invest in. But, you know, if you get into those Cs, you definitely want to do... Uh, you know, a lot of more, like in my opinion, a lot more research. You're going to be having a lot more risk involved. Here you see moderately high risk, high risk, and extremely high risk with those Cs. D is the financial composition is extremely poor, highest risk factor. Highest risk factor. So if you are investing into D, uh, definitely be careful. But, you know, for the most part, I think this user experience is great. It has all of these different, uh, you know, ideas and concepts that you can actually jump into on the EVI website. You can actually see the EVI token, EVI membership, customized data, power factor ratings as well. And if we go to the EVI membership, you can actually take a look at what they're all providing here with the membership. You have EVI Lite. EVI Lite comes with 20 popular crypto and DeFi NFT assets rated by our unique multi-factor module, which is updated every four hours, ready for you to review and understand each rated asset. EVI Pro, open up the real world. You choose over your arsenal with over 300 crypto assets being uploaded every month. And then we have EVI Elite, obviously going to be the most expensive, but the best as well. It has proven the fact that the traditional technical indicators, analysts, uh, or I always say analysts, summaries, analysis, do not offer any trading advantage in today's financial markets. And crypto assets are no different. So EVI Elite harnesses the power of artificial intelligence and machine learning. So you can easily sign up today. You can actually click this button here and it'll sign you up for a membership. All you have to do is input your email address, your password, and it gets started with uh, Evi today. So Evi and PancakeSwap is now live. Obviously, that's what's coming across the screen. Very, very big there. And I think, you know, the biggest thing to kind of note with Evi is really the true potential behind it. The idea that they're trying to help those new investors. You know, there's going to be a lot of new retail investors with crypto mass adoption coming into play. This is going to continue to help them. Understanding that, you know, the projects in the A tier, for the most part, are just going to be very, very safe, strong projects that uh, usually have probably a little bit higher market cap than maybe something lower. You see things that we talk about all the time on here, you know, Civic, we have Chili's, Stormax, coins that I believe in, you know, will continue to do very, very big things. Like I said, the only coin that I've, you know, thought that maybe should be higher so far is Chainlink. Let's take a look at VeChain as well. 
VeChain a B2. So very surprising to see VeChain at a B2. We have to keep in mind the last seven days with 34% increase. Maybe they're just saying it's a little overvalued at the moment. Um, I would like to read a little bit more into these ratings and uh, really find out what B2 means here real quick. Let's go back to B2 because a lot of you guys are interested, obviously, in VeChain. The financial composition is fair, moderate risk. I would agree with that. You know, the moderate risk is definitely there with VeChain. Uh, I do believe that it should be maybe a B1. Uh, where Chainlink currently is and, you know, Chainlink go up to an A3, but that's obviously going to be uh, my thoughts and not the machine learning and AI. So definitely, uh, you know, one thing to look into is uh, really this kind of standard of A2, A3, A, uh, or B3, you know, B2, B1, and then, you know, C3, C2, C1, and then a D and a U as well. So a lot of cool rankings involved here. And like I said, you can sign up very, very easily on their website. I just want to give you guys a quick overview of evi.io. Let me know if you guys have any questions and comments or concerns about evi.io in the comment section. I'll try to help you guys out. If you guys need any help, though, in the very bottom right corner of the website, you can probably see it there. It actually has a help button, so you can actually click that and uh, get your help very, very easily. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to quickly like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. Like I said, this was a sponsored video, so if you guys want to check out the uh, actual website itself, evi.io, I will have links in the description. So thanks again. I'll see you all in the next one.